Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, and tonight we're on the red carpet at the Museum of Moving Image, talking with the cast and creator of Coming Through the Rye. Get ready for a great night behind the velvet rope. Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, one of the best in the business, Chris Cooper. J.D. Salinger, man, you've done it all. Now you get to play J.D. Salinger. Yeah, it's quite a, quite a pursuit. Um, it's uh, something that was very hard to find any, you know, any material on. Could not find uh, uh, his voice on tape. He, I think quite literally, he never gave uh, an interview where he was taped. Um, so I didn't have much to go by, but being that this is based on the writer-director's own experience as a young man, I asked Jim, I said, give me your best shot. What, I know you can't do an imitation of Salinger, but give me something. And it was the, it was the best thing. He said, think in terms of um, Upper East Side Jewish intellectual. <laughs> And I thought, okay, let's, let's find a contemporary of his, a voice that I like, and it turned out um, to be Arthur, the playwright, Arthur Miller. Yep. And I adore his voice. So I kind of, kind of worked with that, you know. But I certainly knew in the research, I knew he was reclusive, very no-nonsense, and um, um, so I had that to go with. When you play, you've had such a rich, long career of different roles, but when you play someone who <clears throat> lived, and obviously JD's a, a very different case because <laughs> versus someone who hasn't lived, like your characters in Demolition or American Beauty, how is that different for you as an actor? How do you approach it? Is it different, the same? Um, well, yeah, it, it's, it is different. It is different. You know, you always, I think you always try to incorporate wherever you can your own life experience. If, if, the, if there's anything close to what the, the character in the, in the script is experiencing. And then, and then when you're playing a, a real character, I mean, the research and, and whatever you have at hand to draw from, um, whether it be a, a rough imitation, I mean, it's... A lot of it's hit and miss. I, I mean, you're taking big risks, um, big choices. I love this real life story of searching for J.D. Salinger. What are people going to get with this movie? I think people are going to be very surprised. Um, it starts off about a boy and a girl that are trying to find J.D. Salinger, but it kind of turns into um, an adventure and instead of finding J.D. Salinger, they're finding themselves and finding each other and finding love. So I think um, a lot of people will relate to it and be surprised. So talk to me about working with Alex. I love him, by the way. Nice guy. I know. Talk to me about getting to work with him. Uh, well, like from day one, Alex and I hit it off. We're best friends and we had so much fun. And also filming in Virginia, we were we had limited things to do, so we, were, we would spend time on and off set. So, um, yeah, so we just got really close, and um, I could trust him with anything. And, yeah, so he's very special to me, and um, so this film is extremely dear to both of us. So you're the man who was chasing J.D. Salinger. Talk yeah. to him, and you got it made into a movie. It's a double whammy, so yeah. congratulations. Talk Thank to me you. about making this movie. Yeah. Well, uh, it's a story that's uh, been 46 years in the making. Um, people kept asking me when I was going to make this movie, and oh, about four years ago I decided it was time. Um, but I knew that this wasn't a story that was going to attract Hollywood financing. So I went online to, and Googled how do you make an independent feature, and read a bunch of articles and some books and put it all together. You got Mr. Chris Cooper to work with you again, too. He's I, one of, yeah. I was just geeking out. I'm like, dude, you're one of the best in the business. He really is. What makes him so great? What is it like to work with him? Well, first of all, he's just hes a wonderful human being. There's no pretense. There's no celebrity aspect to him. He's very approachable, and uh, <clears throat> he just loves direction, and he's just a real professional. What are people going to get when they see this movie? What do you hope they get? 
Well, I hope they get a little nostalgic if you're a baby boomer. I hope you get inspired if you're a high school student um, because it's a story about perseverance in the face of adversity and courage in the face of bullying and, and you know, exploring your own sexuality and things like that, but in a, in a non-sexual way, and non-sexualized way, I should say.